Today on Switch to Linux, we talk about Dell launching a version of its computer for Linux even before it is launched for Windows. What does this mean and why are they doing that? This is an interesting discussion. Thanks for checking out this video by Switch to Linux. If you like this type of content, leave us a like and a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. And today we want to talk about this new Dell computer, and this comes from It's Foss. And uh, so, Linux first, Windows later, Dell launches a Qualcomm NPU laptop on Linux before it launches on Windows. This is interesting because um, Dell, of course, has release computers with Linux for a long time, although you're not going to walk into Best Buy and probably get it. Uh, but if you go on to Dell's website, you can go on and you can select if you want to get Ubuntu or Windows. And usually the Ubuntu one's going to cost you less because you don't have to pay for a Windows license. This did cause some controversy um, a number of years ago, maybe back to almost, I don't know, 15, 20 years, I forget. It was before I was using Linux. And there was this article, like this news story about this girl who, um, she gets a computer and she gets the cheaper computer for college. And then she's getting all mad because she goes to set up her, her internet and she puts in, of course, that CD into your computer that, why do you even use these? Like, I, did that actually do something? I've never had to install software to get my ISP set up. But she puts it in there and uh, it doesn't know how to read it. And she's like, this school computer doesn't work. And she like drops out of school because her computer won't work with the, the programs that she has to use for college. It was absurdly stupid. Uh, but all that was because Dell shipped an Ubuntu computer because the woman bought an Ubuntu computer because it was cheaper. You know, um, and that was kind of funny. But uh, in this, uh, the the point I want to make is that Dell has made certified Linux computers for a long time. And honestly, if I'm getting a pre-manufactured computer, I personally like Dell. Yes, I know they've had some problems and they've had some things that have kind of irritated them uh, on my end. But at the same time. What I like about Dell, every one of their computers that I've ever bought, they are easily repairable. They make all the parts available. They make the schematics available. And in fact, I bought one of the better computers I have. I bought it for a pawn shop for a hundred bucks. And I think the pawn shop was trying to sell it off on somebody that, uh, you know, because I, I think they knew the charging port was bad. And um, so they were selling it off and just hoping to unload it. And then it was somebody else's problem because, you know, you buy it, you, you know, whatever. <laughs> what they didn't know is I recognized that was a potential problem with that computer. And what they also don't know is a charging port for that computer is $7 and it takes 10 minutes to install. And so, yeah, I got probably a five or $600 computer for a hundred bucks because I knew more about the industry than they did. That's why I liked Dow. They are a very good piece of hardware that all all of the parts are available. I can get them. I can replace them. Now, is this going to be the case for these NPU computers going forward? I don't know. Our whole world is moving anti-consumer. Um, but I'm just speaking from uh, the past so far. They say here many of their devices come with compatible drivers working out of the box. Audio, Wi-Fi, Thunderbolt, Pulse, and even fingerprint readers mostly work without a hassle. The Dell Workhorse is a Dell laptop that hasn't had a driver-related issue for quite some time. And this one here, the Dell Pro Max 16, they launched a Pro Max 16 marketed as the first mobile workstation with enterprise grade discrete NPU. The Qualcomm AI 100 PC interface card it packs 64 gigs of dedicated AI memory and dual NPUs on a single card. Ugh, AI again. AI again. And this instance, the reason they're doing this is because they have built a computer that can do AI if you want to do it on a local model without being cloud first. And remember, that's where Windows is going, cloud first. And that might be much to the chagrins of many industries who may not want all of the information on cloud first. Can we trust doctor's offices with Windows 11 that patient data is not getting, you know, uploaded to Microsoft servers, which we know is not fully encrypted against everything. No, Microsoft can still see what's in those servers. And it really begs a serious question about it, especially since Microsoft is so aggressive about pushing you to it. And 
frankly, the people running doctor's offices are not the most computer tech savvy people. They're like, okay, the computer said I needed to know this, so I just did it, you know. And then before you know it, HIPAA violations are flying in and out of your office like there's no tomorrow. And, uh, you know, some some shrew at Microsoft is getting paid a whole lot of money to silently pass a few files back and forth because that's kind of how it tends to work. But what we see here as a system, a computer that's built to be able to do all of your processes, and uh, they're targeting down here professionals who can't rely on cloud interfacing. It says the discrete NPU keeps the data on the device while eliminating cloud latency, enabling work in air-gapped environments, disconnected locations, and compliance-heavy industries. Boy, I wonder why Dell is pushing this out to Linux before it goes anywhere else. Maybe it couldn't possibly because Windows seems to assume that everybody has full-fledged gigabit up and down, wants every everything on the cloud and provides no official options to do otherwise and actively blocks any workarounds people seem to find. So Dell does something interesting here. So you get a really good, uh, you know, Intel core ultra processor, um, the 256 gigabyte, uh, uh, CAM and two memory. I am not a hardware guy guys, just so you are aware. Um, GPU options uh, up to NVIDIA RTX Pro 5000 with 24 vig, uh, gigs of VRAM and 12 terabytes with uh, storage at 12 terabytes with RAID support. There you go. Uh, so they've received word Windows 11 on this will not ship until early 2026. There is already a validated Ubuntu 24.04 LTS for this computer. So for people that still want to have computing without being perpetually connected to a cloud and without being perpetually online or in situations where it's a security risk to do so, Dell has released a really good, really beefy AI enabled computer targeting Linux first for the people that do not want all of the cloud infrastructure. Is this kind of the, the uh, first step towards the world looking at windows and going, Hmm, maybe a whole lot of businesses should be moving off of it because it's a giant security risk that Microsoft seems to want to throw AI everywhere, use the data collected to train AI and upload it all to others to the clouds. That was a security, uh, serious business risk in many instances. Of course, you will be looking at paying over $3,000 for this guy. So I'm not exactly going to be buying one anytime soon. However, it's neat to see them coming out with an option that is targeting to people who do not want to or cannot rely on cloud interfacing. And so that is uh, an interesting push in, uh, in the world world of, of tech like this. So let me know your thoughts about all that in the comments down below. Are you all on board with this? And is this really a shift towards business, maybe switching to Linux for workstations just to get away from all of the online stuff Microsoft is trying to do? Let me know your thoughts about that in the comments down below.